Hey, today we're doing a new feature in Excel 2007. This is another feature that a lot of people are excited about. Uh, it doesn't exist in earlier versions, and what it is is it's removing duplicates. It's extremely easy to use, but you know, think about how many times you have a list and you know you've got duplicates, and the way you've had to do it in the past is you've got to sort, then you've got to look at everything, and then you've got to delete it. So this is much easier. What we're going to do is we're actually going to go up and click in our data. Again, in case you've forgotten, uh, Excel assumes that all the data goes together as long as there is not a completely empty row. So I'm going to go up to the data ribbon and then over here on data tools you can see we've got remove duplicates. It tells you you can specify which columns should be checked for duplicate information. So I'm going to click on remove duplicates. Now right now I'm looking for something that has duplicates across the board where first name, last name, department, shift, hire date are all the same. And when I go and click OK, it tells me no duplicates found. Okay. If there were, it would have just automatically deleted them. It doesn't show them to you. You have no option on that. It just takes them all out. So you do want to be careful about that. But, you know, looking at my data, I see that, you know, there probably are some errors. Here at row two, I've got Bob Smith in engineering who was hired on January 16th. And I've got a Robert Smith in engineering who was hired on the same date. What are the chances of that? So let's go back and take another look at remove duplicates. I'm going to go to remove duplicates. And this time I'm going to tell it, ignore the first name. But if the last name, department, shift, and hire date are the same, let's get rid of it. Now right now, let's take a look. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows of data. Um, you know, I mentioned Bob before. Let's take a look at, I've got Richard Harrington in sales with shift one. I've got a Rick Harrington sales shift one with the same hire date. So chances are those are probably both going to go. So I'm going to click OK. It told me two duplicate values were found and removed. Six unique values remain. Okay, now the downside, what happened? It kept the first one it found, so Robert Smith is gone and Rick Harrington is gone. You know, perhaps you don't care about that. Um, you just want to get rid of the duplicates. If so, this works for you. My only point is you do want to be careful where you don't have the option of seeing the duplicates ahead of time. So I'm going to click OK. The duplicates are removed and they are gone. Now if I go and save the spreadsheet and then want to try to undo or something like that, I'm not going to have that option. So just something to consider. OK, so we removed duplicates using the new feature in Excel 2007 and all we had to do was go to the data ribbon and then select remove duplicates from the tab. So pretty easy. Definitely a nice new feature. Now, I just wanted to call your attention to the fact that if you do want to be able to see the duplicates beforehand, you do have a new option, Excel 2007 conditional formatting. What it allows you to do is color the duplicates, and then because in Excel 2007 you can sort by font color or by cell color, you can sort all the duplicates and then delete them. So, just an alternative. Hopefully you enjoyed the tip. Talk to you later.